Hey guys, it's Kat and I am back today to do an update for my hashtag team project pan 2021. Uh, so this is my year long rolling project pan where I choose a whole bunch of products to target to use up. Um, now the whole point of this is uh, I want to use up old products, products that I don't love, products that I like and can use, um, but I don't want them anymore for whatever reason. Now I've used up a few things, hooray. Uh, the first one is actually my foundation. I I'm doing super well with this. So I've only had it in my project for a couple of months. Uh, this is an airless pump. So the um, little platform started down here. It went up to there last month and now it's to the top. So this is the Mecca Max uh, Life Proof Longwear Foundation. It was just a nice sort of lower coverage um, everyday foundation. It wore really well under masks. Um, so yeah, easy to use up. Use that one up. The light's gonna come in and out. It's quite sunny, but there's clouds. So it is what it is. Um, anyway, so I decided to replace that with this foundation. It's the infallible 24 hour matte foundation from L'Oreal. So the reason I wanna use this one up is because I do have oily skin, so I do like a matte foundation, but this one, I don't feel like it's very good at oil control. So, so I wanna get this done before summer hits and before I'm at peak greasiness, oiliness, sweatiness, because I feel like like this um, won't be able to handle that very well. So I want to use this in spring, which is what we're currently in now. And it works really nicely as just an everyday foundation. It's not like the longest wearing in the world, um, but just for your everyday cover a bit of redness, look a little bit more perfected. Um, this is fine. I'm happy to use it. So uh, I don't know what it's up to. I'm going to weigh it, but it does feel fairly empty, like maybe down to here. So I don't think it'll take me that long to use up. All right. The next thing I used up and I was really surprised by this. This is the Bite Agave Lip Balm. I only put this in my project pan last month and I'll have a photo of the screen where it was up to and now it is completely used up and I even gouged my finger in it a little bit to use it as a lip balm like a pot lip balm. Um, I think the reason I use this so fast is because firstly, I kept it in my bathroom. So whenever I would go to the bathroom, sometimes I'd apply it, but also it's quite a thick lip balm. So um, I feel like when you did apply it, it would apply quite a thick amount. So I used this up really fast and I pretty much just used it in the morning and also before I went to bed and um, yeah, done. Now to replace that, I'm putting in a Burt's Bees. This is the Cucumber Mint Moisturizing Lip Balm. I don't love this. Um, now I bought this not too long ago. It's got this much to go. So I will take a photo of that and um, show you updates. This isn't gonna go down as fast as the Bite one because it's, it applies a thinner amount. So you use less every time you use it. Uh, I just didn't like this. I like cucumber scented things. I like mint scented things. So in theory, I thought this was gonna be great. But um, the issue I have with Burt's Bees lip balms is I feel like the formula varies from scent to scent. They're so wildly different. Um, the original I think is still the best. And this one, I it's usable, but I, I don't like it. I don't like the scent. I don't feel like it's nourishing enough. So I want this gone, which is why it's in my project pan. Something I used up just yesterday, and this was really frustrating because I applied this to one eye and then it, it ended and I was left without liner on the other eye. Um, this is my Marc Jacobs, uh, Fine Liner Ultra Skinny Gel Eye Crayon in the shade Fine Wine. This is a burgundy liner. I liked using it um, as just a burgundy liner. It was nice and intense. It was a beautiful color um, and it really complemented sort of autumn tones, which I have been wearing quite a lot lately. Luckily, I did have a Victoria Beckham burgundy liner that I could, that was close enough that I could mimic it on the other side and I didn't have to redo my makeup. Um, but yeah, this finished yesterday. So that one is gone. Now I'm not replacing that with anything at the moment because I already have two liners in my project pan. So I'll just move on to those. Now the next thing that I'm planning on considering done is my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. Now, yes, this has been open for a while, so it's probably gone off by now, but I'm only applying it to myself. So I'm not concerned about it. Like harboring much bacteria. Um, but the reason I want to get rid of this, not because it's dry and it's used up just because it's drying to a point that by the end of the day, I feel like my mascara is flaking off, which this never did before. So I feel like it might be drying out. Like it applies fine. There's still enough product. It's still like 
creamy and fluid enough to apply on the lashes. I just feel like by the end of the day, I feel like I get little bits of mascara in my eyes and I can only assume it's because it's getting dry. So I'm gonna get rid of this and say it's done. I've used it enough, it is what it is. And what I'm gonna use instead is my MAC um, Extended Play Lash Mascara. Now this is a much, um, more natural looking mascara. It's really great on the lower lash line. Uh, if you build it up, it can look good on the top lash line, but I haven't worn lashes for like a year. So um, I do actually like quite a bold mascara. But the reason why I wanna use this up is because I do like the effect of it on a daily basis. And it's one of my oldest mascaras that I've got open. So I may as well, again, use this as much as possible um, before I throw it out and open a fresh one. All right, on to progress. And I have seen quite a lot of progress, which is really good. Let's start with my hair oil. So this is the Oi oil from Davines. Um, I've been using this as a treatment. So before I wash my hair, like maybe 12 hours before, whatever, the night before, whatever, I tend to put this in my hair quite liberally um, as a treatment and it's right down to the bottom there. So I was hoping to have this done um, by this check-in, but that's probably maybe a week's use, maybe a little bit more, and I don't want to force it and waste it um, just for the sake of this video. So this will be done next check-in. Last month, I introduced this brightening body serum from Soul Body. Um, now you can see that this was brand new when I introduced it, well, fairly new, it was up to here. It's down to here now. So I've used it a lot. Uh, because this is very, very um, thin and fluid, you can use a lot of it and it's very easy to put like all over your body. I can get quite greasy. I can break out from being greasy. So I don't like to put moisturizer sort of on my shoulders or back area, but because this is like a serum, it's a body brightening body serum, um, it is quite thin and I can put it quite liberally all over my body. So um, I have been using that at record speed. And again, that'll be done in about a week. I've nearly finished my primer. So this is the Murad Hydration Invisible Invisible Perfecting Shield Primer. This is like one of those silicone feeling primers. I don't love using this because I do feel like what it tends to do is um, it creates too much of an oily slip to my base and then my foundation sort of slides around on it and Having oily skin, I find it hard enough to um, have foundation stick to my face. So this is not ideal for me. I tend to use this more when I've got uh, having like a no makeup day or if I'm just using a powder makeup and I want to have it sort of blur the skin a little bit. So fill in the pores with that sort of silicone-y effect. Um, and then I might just put a little bit of concealer or a little bit of powder over the top. So um, this is more of a no makeup product for me. So I, it's not one that I love. Um, but you can see it's right up to the top. So again, this is an airless pump. So when I introduced it, it was up to here and the, the product was there, went up, went up, and now it's up to the very top. So again, only uh, a week or two use left of this. I introduced my Dr. Jart Sika Pear Enzyme Cleansing Foam last month, and I didn't think I use as much cleanser as I do because I thought this was gonna take me a, like three months to use up. Um, it was up to there, it's now down to there. So I use this quite a lot. I have got into the habit of taking my cleanser on my face, down my neck, on my you know uh, chest area, on my shoulders. So I overuse this, but I just didn't expect to use this as fast as I have been. So yeah, I've got this much left and it'll be done by next check-in. My Mario Badescu little mini facial spray. This is the facial spray with aloe, sage, and orange blossom. I, again, I introduced this last month and I am making some good progress. So it was up to there, barely used, and now it's like halfway done. So, um, you know, if I remember to do it, so if I remember to use it, I should have it done by next month. Um, I did explain that I tend to use these a lot more in warmer weather. Now, luckily we're in spring there. We do have some nice warm days coming up, but we're in lockdown. So I'm not really going out and enjoying the days and needing a bit of a spritz, um, but I'll try to use this up. This one's so exciting. My bronzer, my Chanel uh, Bron Soleil Tan de Chanel, the universal bronzer cream product. 
I've hit pan. I've actually hit pan. Now I was weighing this. Um, I'll weigh this so we can keep that consistent, but I had no pan last time and now I've hit pan. I use this literally every day. What has been really great about this product is it's very versatile. You can use it um, under powder, over powder. So if um, I think it works best if you apply it straight onto your like unset foundation because it mixes best with the foundation but because this is more of a mousse um, you can also apply it over set makeup so if I've got a matte base I can still go in with this with a brush or a sponge and it does look really really nice so I've got it on today it's just a little bit of a bronze gives me a little bit of color um, and I've been really enjoying it I feel very bougie using a Chanel product every day um, I actually really like the scent of it as well but it is one of those sort of like treat yourself type products and the only reason I'm getting rid of it is because um, it's getting old and I don't want it, it to dry out and to waste it so I'm enjoying it I'm spending my lockdown enjoying my Chanel bronzer and I've used roughly about four and a half grams of that since last month so I'm definitely making some good progress all right my MAC Paintly paint pot um, I have been using this quite a lot and what I've started doing and I started doing it last month I started working down the side instead of trying to make the pan bigger so I did hit pan on the base but now I'm trying to work down the side so I will zoom in so I will have the photo of where I was up to last month but you can definitely see that I'm sort of extending that pan a little bit and working down that side so that should probably hit next month while I'm zoomed in I'll just show you my nail polish um, this is my OPI red nail polish and you can see that I was making really good progress at the start and then I sort of just hit a wall um, and I've just been marking like under each line every month. I did explain last month that um, I just haven't been vibing red. I've been vibing pastels and sort of brighter colors because we're getting into the warmer weather. Um, I have worn this on my toes and maybe fingers once. So um, yeah, I've really been making very slow progress. I'll keep this in the project, even though I'm not making great progress, only because I don't want to put it back in my collection with like a tiny bit left. Um, I may as well either use it up or throw it out and I'd prefer to use it up. So we'll just keep this around for a little while. Last month, I did also talk about a brow pencil that I lost. I mentioned that I wasn't able to give an update on the MAC brow pencil that I had in my project because I lost it. And I said, if I didn't find it by this month check-in, um, I will just introduce something else. Now, funnily enough, I, <laughs> I found it for one day and then lost it again. Now my makeup desk is very, very messy. Uh, I'm in the process of sort of like testing out a lot of stuff and I've pulled out a lot of stuff and decluttering. So I'm hoping that once I get that under control, which I don't know when they'll be, but when I get it under control, I will find it again. Um, so I'm not taking it out of the project yet, but I think it's either hasn't been used at all this month or I've had one use from it. But I'm not gonna introduce a different brow pencil to replace it simply because um, in the meantime, I've been using my Pan That Palette brown eyeshadows um, to do my brows. It's at least given me the opportunity to hit some pan on those brown shades. So I'm going to keep doing that until I find the pencil. If next month I don't have it, I'll introduce something else then. Speaking of pencils, I've made like no progress on this uh, sparkly black uh, scandalized Cole Kajal pencil from Rimmel. Um, now I did mention last month that I am introducing this because it is broken. My toddler snapped it in half. I'll have a photo on the screen of me taping it up. Then I realized I probably shouldn't tape it because, um, when I get down to having to sharpen it, I'm not going to know what to do. So I ended up gluing it. So I just glued the wooden part together, not the actual lead. So hopefully when it comes down to that point, uh, it'll be easier to sharpen. I don't know. Now I'll have progress on the screen if there's any progress. I don't even know if I've sharpened this since introducing it. I feel like besides maybe like a liquid liner, I don't really use black eyeliners. Um, pencil eyeliners, I usually use brown. Today I'm using a green in my waterline. I don't really use black. So again, I'm going to see if I can make progress next month. Um, if I don't, I'm just going to take this out and put something else in and get rid of it. All right, I've got a liquid liner. This is the ColourPop uh, liquid liner in Grande. It's um, a brown and I'm wearing it today on my top lash line. So I did weigh that and last month it was at 5.85 grams and now it's about 5.8-ish grams. Uh, my scale's battery is going, so it's very hard to read the screen. Now this claims to contain only 0.55 mils. Weighing things that are so small, 
are generally not very accurate. So, you know, we'll just keep using this until it dries out. Second last thing is my mixed powder. So this is not the Too Faced powder. It's a mix of a illuminating Shuramira powder and also a setting Revlon powder. And together it makes a really nice color, makes a nice finish. So I mix them uh, in an empty container and I am trying to use both up. All right, so last month, this was 101.89 grams and I had just refilled the container. Now the container itself weighs 90 grams. So there was about 11, just under 12 grams of product in the container. Now this month it's weighing in at about 94 grams. So theoretically, there's only about four grams of powder left in here, which I'll probably use up by next month. And if I do that, I will just refill it and reweigh it. Last product. This is always my last product because it is the one that I am struggling with the most. Uh, this is my Joyco Ironclad Thermal Protectant Spray. Hair care products. I'm not the best with hair care products. It is what it is. I don't often do much to my hair besides wash it. Last month, this was 118.41 grams and now it's at about 105 and a half-ish. So I uh, was making some progress, but still very, very slow. But I did explain in past videos, I struggle using this because it's just too tall to keep on my shelf. So I have to hide it away in a cupboard. I forget to use it and I don't see any great results. It's a hair protectant, so it's supposed to protect your hair. It's not supposed to add any like extra goodness to your hair that you can notice. So I just forget to use it, but I still feel like it's quite low down and I'm just going to keep using it. Um, and it will take me until the end of the year, but that's okay. I'm fine with it. All right. So that's my update for my team project pan. Uh, if you're doing a project pan, let me know how you're going. What are your favorite products to pan? Uh, mine are probably base products because I get through them really fast. My least favorite, lip products. If you missed any of the products that I talked about and you wanted to know the names, I will have them listed in the description box and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.